Hey, this is Rick from Mike and Rick Outdoors. And last time I did a camping cot review, I really did a review showing you how I sleep good and what I did to make it more comfortable. This time I want to do a full review of the Kingdom Cot from REI. So let's get to it. Please like, subscribe, and share, and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as we put out new videos here at Mike and Rick Outdoors. And stay to the end and I'll show you the tricks on how I make this camping cot sleep almost like you sleep at home. First thing about this cot is you'll see it's real big. It's, you know, to me it folds up pretty good, but it's maybe not as good as you might like. A lot, a lot of cots come in a bag and they're more rectangular in shape. This one is, uh, basically it's, it folds up into thirds and it has the legs that fold up and it uh, takes a lot of room in your vehicle. I've had a few comments about, you know, you have to have something big to transport it. And it's true, you want to have some room to transport this cot. But still, considering all that, this is the best cot I've ever had and I sleep the best I've ever slept when I've been out camping. Well, the first thing you'll notice is these legs here. They, they fold out and, um, and there's three sets of legs. These are the two in the main part. But what I want to point your attention to first is these big legs right here. They're, they're real flat. I mean, they're probably three inches or so in diameter. When you sit this down on your tent, you'll, you'll not puncture the, the, the floor of your tent. It's a really nice feature that I like. And so I always go ahead and put these out when I'm getting ready to set it down. But another thing while it's upside down here, these cords here that hold the cot to the frame, they're really thick, real sturdy. It's an extremely well-made cot. I've had both two cots from REI. And again, they're the Kingdom Cots from REI. They have lasted me two years. I've used them quite a bit. Never had any problem, never had to return any. Uh, they're just great quality cots. They are heavy. Uh, but you get what you pay for. They cost around $150 at least when I bought them. I'll put it up on the screen here what they cost today. Uh, but it's a great cop. Well, let's flip it over and take a look at the other side. But before I do that, I want you to see there's some kind of some grips right here. And um, just the tubing and everything is real thick also. Uh, it's just, uh, it is heavy because of that, but it's a, it's a great cop. So this here is the top. And let's I always go ahead and get this set up and the legs uh, pulled apart so it's sturdy. And uh, then I, you pull this, this, this third set of legs up and flip these down also. Same, same legs uh, set up. You'll notice right here, and it's on both sides, there's these, these knobs where really they're there to lock. And when you unscrew them to unlock it, And that's really all there is to how this is set up or how you take it down and put it back. So you place this top down here, go ahead and relock this. And there's the top part. Again, you'll see this bottom here, there's no legs on this one. So if you sit on the bottom, you can flip the cot. And this just snaps down into place. You can see it's uh, it's got a lot of padding here. You know, if I had to guess, there's probably a half inch to three quarter inch of padding. There's more padding on the, the headrest, which you can't see, but I'll turn the camera so you can see it here in just one second. All right, so you can see here's the headrest, REI Co-op. This here is about a half inch or so of padding. This here's probably got an inch. So that's the headrest. This is a, a really wide, large cot. You also notice there's more padding on the edges and it, it, it angles up on both sides, basically, I think, to help you keep from falling out of the cot. At the bottom, there's more padding at the foot here also. I'm not sure why. Maybe your feet need some comfort, comfort also. This cot is really large and wide and long. It's one of the longest and the largest that I found. And I'm about 5'11", and I, I easily fit on this. I think if you could, you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you'd still fit on this. And I don't remember the exact dimensions of this cot, but I'll put it up on the screen for you to see here in a second. I know it'd be a whole lot cooler if I had somebody really pretty to lay on this cot for you, but you only have me today. So let me show you what my 5'10", and about 250 pounds, looks like on this cot. 
So you can see, I still got six inches at the bottom. I've got a few inches at the top. And, uh, and I never have a problem on this cot from feeling like I'm falling off or that I don't have enough room. And I did, you, you could sleep on this cot with a sleeping bag and be extremely comfortable and be really happy with this cot. But that's really all there is to this thing. It's a great cot, it's by REI, it's the Kingdom cot. Well made, heavy, yes. Uh, when you fold it up and transport it, you do need a bigger vehicle. You can go with a smaller car, but you know sometimes you run out of room. Throw it on top of the vehicle, but I don't like to get them wet either. So I'll also add what material this is made of on the. I'll put it on the screen. I'll put links down below also about uh, the additional information and where you can find it. You can't find this on Amazon. You can only find it on uh, REI. So I'll leave a link to REI, but then I'll also leave a link to on Amazon where you can find other cots that are real similar. I hope you've liked this video of the REI Kingdom Cot. And the tip I told you about early on is how to make this bed even more comfortable. I put a three inch memory foam on it, etc., with sheets. But you can, uh, there'll be a link here at the top and also in the description of that video of how I make this bed up. So thanks again for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors and I'll see you back here soon.